Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and today we are going to be reading Vagrim's Level 270, also known as the Red World, if I remember correctly. If you like, like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival Difficulty Class 4, Unsafe, Unsecure, and a Medium Entity Count. Level 270 is the 271st level of the backrooms. Description, Level 270 is a vast and empty landscape, haphazardly amalgamated with long, deep rivers and ponds. The amount of terrain present is low, with only a few cliffs and eaves, which are reported to be located miles apart from each other. The red glow is seen on a horizon caused by the star has reportedly given wanderers trouble navigating through the field due to its perplexing properties. The red light coming from the uh, star has been reported to convert the wanderers' sense of space in three dimensions by creating dynamic visual illusions which are almost impossible to distinguish from reality. The red ambience created it seems to be more powerful than, and vast during sunset, increasing indicating higher solar activity during that specific hour. The ponds and rivers found on level 270 contain a high concentration of minerals which are harmful to the kidneys, such as potassium and phosphorus. Consuming the liquid frequently can lead to hematuria and mild to severe kidney pain after a few hours, and is often reported to strengthen visual hallucinations within the level. Further research has led to the discovery of an additional oh, inorganic element, thought to be the primary cause of these symptoms. This element has been observed to grow when exposed to red ambient light, and shrink when removed from sunlight. The size of this unnamed mineral has been and seen to be vaguely proportional to the solar air activities of the red star. This further suggests that they are deeply correlated with each other, though it is often disregarded due to repeated conjectural conflicts and disagreement among research members. On this compound, on this mostly found in liquid areas, anyone who manages to enter level 270 will have traces of this mineral in their epithelial lobe. This was proven by numerous amount of scientific studies conducted out of sheer curiosity after a thesis was published, revealing that these compounds could manifest inside the brains of sealed biological creatures at a rapid rate. The overall magnitude of level 270 is, un is currently unknown. But it is certain to be finite. Many wanderers have reported it a normal gravitational force influencing them independent of position, as the level itself is spherical in its geometry. As an equal elaborated a distribution of gravitational influence in the case that there is a uniform distance away from the center of the globe relative to the surface. In addition to its natural shape, there is a strong magnetic field that permeates level 270. It is thought to be created from the of the solidification of the of iron in the a planet's core, along with the rotation of planet's equator, causing a pivoting electric a current electromagnetism, making navigation by a compass somewhat easier. And these are reported to come in frequent intervals and are often a major cause of death in level 270. Skin stealers, dollars, hounds, clumps, and on a few extraordinary rare occasions, death moths have been identified to reside in level 270. Although odd to some, these enemies are frequently spotted in darker and more human locations. Due to the spherical shape of level 270 and the slow rotation of the globe, the rotting thing along on this level, a nighttime phase may the experience. At night, the landscape tends to become very dark, and these conditions are thought to allow new entities to spawn. Because of the slow angular rotation of level 270, the night time lasts for an estimated 24 hours. 
day night cycle is 48 hours or two circadian in cycles and temperatures can fly down to negative 15 degrees celsius or 5 degrees fahrenheit the incident in may in may of 2012 a group of explorers suddenly vanished after vague activity started to occur during the night the leader of the group who was well known among his peers according to his record always hooked up a personal diary inside his backpack in which he would list daily occurrences in an organized manner when he was exploring levels. In the wake of an accident that trapped his team inside level 10 for allegedly months, they managed to find an exit by wandering outside the barriers of level 10, which automatically escorted them to level 270. As a result of, as a result of poor handwriting, possibly due to abnormally powerful illusions, the first description of the environment picturing 270 could not be fully understood to the greatest extent. Though in later sections, the clarity enhances, revealing that he was separated from his team during this ordeal and couldn't find any traces of them within his proximity. Subsequent to surrendering in his search, he had an attempt that it carried with a carried with them when and it started to become dark. With complaints in regards to the chilliness and distinctive repeated screaming radiating from outside. He sat out to sleep. However, during the as by the time he woke up, there was an, an abrupt change in handwriting with dubious similarity of his entry. In addition to that, many of escapes from the temp were supposedly issued with no constructive evidence of a motive. The book was subsequently acquired by Rogue Wanderer called Afan. In the wake of observing this tent forsaken inside a shallow region positioned next to a streaming airway. The few words in the diary that have been recognized are still not understood and are thought as the most critical because of the upper causing of these assertions and its arbitrary diagonal pattern following the page. Okay. The Crimson Sunset. Recently, there have been new reports that the parent star has grown more violent, with dangers more common at areas during sunset at sunrise. The violent crimson glow and its effects have caused many individuals to contract a newly discovered condition that is exclusive to and cannot be contracted outside of level 270. Common symptoms include the defects in vision, enhanced dynamic auditory and visual hallucinations, and vomiting, loss of appetite, and inability to recognize words. These symptoms are chronic. If not treated with on water, it can reach a spatial state, causing eventual death due to total loss of self control. It is important to stay covered during sunset and sunrise. The recommendation is to take shelter immediately. This danger has increased the quantity and diversity of questions surrounding the properties of light coming from the parents. Are. Basis, outposts, and communities. There are currently no basis, outposts, nor communities to rise to exist in level 270. I mean, you can and guess why. Entrances and exits. It is theorized that the entrance is located within the deeper areas of level 10. However, the remarks of entry have been documented to be inconsistent, with most reports claiming to have seen a red glow on the horizon right before entering level 270. Though it is universally agreed that by watering deep enough into level 10, there will be a guaranteed chance of entering level 270 based on reports. Exits. The only known exit found in level 270 changes position in small time intervals and has reported to give extreme difficulty in escaping. This exit is always found beneath the river and is very subtle and unique. Unlike other exits found in the back rooms, these exits resemble a small opening made of steel required to water to translate simple cryptographical messages into ordinary text within a limited amount of time via a computer lodged into the structure. By succeeding, the water will instantly may be transported to the end.
Well, that was level 270. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!